Hey there, you're watching Coloring with Max and McKenna. I'm Max. And I'm McKenna. And today we are interviewing the magnificent Anthony Watson, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have a fun accent. Will you tell us where you're from? I am from London, England. Oh, and what are you going to be coloring for us today? I'm going to be coloring a hedgehog. Oh. So cute. Do you think it's a hedgehog or a porcupine? Oh, we, well. Hedgepine. Hedgepine. Okay, yeah, good. We go. I'm doing an iguanodon, possibly a chameleon, so a chameleodon. And I'm doing a family of turtles. There is no way you're going to color all of those turtles in the course of this one interview. Max can do it, then I can too. <laughs> all right, let's see it. So at what point, Mr. Watson, was it that you realized you weren't like the other little kids coloring porcupines? One of these kids is not like the other one, hey? Um, yeah. I was 12. I was in secondary school, uh, as it is in Ireland, and I realized I was gay. How, what happened? I just woke up one morning and magically I realized I was gay. I had all these feelings, didn't quite understand them. And then I watched the bizarre TV show late one night when my parents went to bed and realized, ooh, I'm like those guys. When did you first decide to tell somebody? Um, I didn't tell anyone until I was 21. Oh wow, and so you waited a while. I did, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't handle it. I went to university to become a minister, study theology. Oh, okay. Because I thought if I was extra good and uh -huh. extra Christian, the, the gay would go away. So we're laughing at that now, but at the time it was something it was that very, was very hard, Very harrowing I'm experience. Sure. Um, and it's very common um, in the UK mm -hmm. and also in the US, particularly in the South, mm -hmm. where a lot of LGBTQ teens embrace or try and embrace the church because they feel there's something abnormal about them when they don't yeah. realize they're perfect the way they are. Mm -hmm. I feel like when people think about coming out, they're, they're like, I, I'm going to lose my friends, my family's going to disown me. So literally the worst thing that could have possibly happened, happened to you. So what did you do? I, uh, my parents kicked me out and I was homeless for a few months. Oh, Where really? were you? Mm, um, I couch surfed. But the one thing that I think is unique and wonderful about our community, mm -hmm. and you can experience this no matter where you go in the world, because I can go to any country around the world and meet LGBT people yeah. and feel like they embrace me, they understand me and accept me. And I couch surfed for about six months until I found my feet, finished my university degree and went. Wow. Is that in London? London? It, it was in un London and Dublin, but mainly London. Wow. I mean, you came out and you were absolutely reduced to nothing. Mm -hmm. Whereas now you're a business leader in the world, not just in the LGBT community. You end up on Forbes lists and other places, not even for just being an LGBT leader, but for being a business and financial leader. Yeah. Do you, do you think that part of who you are and your experience has kind of contributed to you being so influential? And then the follow-up question is, what are you doing with that influence to make a difference now? Uh, absolutely. I think um, I'm far more understanding, far more empathetic um, than I would argue my heterosexual counterparts are mm -hmm. in business but because of the challenging experience I had coming out it made me far more steely to succeed because again when I was caught climbing the corporate ladder so I've worked for companies like Microsoft, Barclays Bank in London, I've worked for Nike, I've set up banks, I'm setting up a bank in London at the moment Wow! and so if you look at the experience I had coming out I wouldn't have the tenacity to drive or the perseverance to overcome multiple challenges to succeed um, and that's purely because of the gay experience in my particular case. <laughs> Is there, are there any resources you think are available now that A, you wish you had available to you when you were younger and that you could recommend anyone watching this to absolutely take advantage of? Well, it's, 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 um, the resources that are available today are far greater than the resources certainly when I came out. But I would uh, advocate, um, depending on your age, I would find groups around your community, in your schools, in your colleges, mm -hmm. engage with them, understand them. They'll help and support you, but also they'll ensure that you have the infrastructure around you to succeed. Yeah. I think one of the biggest challenges for our community today, and in LA in particular, where we are, um, is our homeless issue. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at homelessness across the United States, and it's parallels within Europe as well, um, and I'm very keenly aware of, uh, one in four homeless people are LGBT. Yeah. Now that statistic is off the charts. Like it's, it's insane. It's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. absolutely terrible and we have to look after our community because mm -hmm. if we don't, like I say, nobody else will. And I think on top of that, I think education is incredibly important. Um, if, if you look at the LA LGBT Homeless Center, for example, um, all their high school kids 
get top marks in every category because they're so determined and so focused. Yeah. But once they try and go to college, they either can't afford it or they go to a community college mm -hmm. when they're Harvard uh, qualified, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I think our community should be supporting them to enable them to go to college. Definitely. I hate to do this to you, but your time's already up. You've got to show your work. Oh dear, I was babbling too much, so. <laughs> Beautiful pink, love it. I wanted it to be entirely pink, but unfortunately, no. I actually tried to make my iguana look, or my chameleon iguana look less grumpy by painting him pink, Ooh. but it kind of just makes him look like... A drag king? Like he just lives in Key West and is over those kids on his yard. <laughs> Ew. How'd I, you do? I did not get the pink. You did one turtle. And I only did this one <laughs> tiny turtle, and Max was right. So I'm a little sad, but it happens. We'd like you to sign our wall. Oh, I would love to. Well, my wall. Yeah. yeah. Please sign our wall. We're yeah. shooting in Anthony's house. <laughs> Anthony's house. Yay! All right. That's a wrap. I feel like all the gays yeah. will flock to the internet.